We're going to define this electromotive force, this EMF. Now, we don't really use this idea. We, we usually call it EMF and not electromotive force because this is not a force. They, they got the name mixed up in the beginning, but the name stuck, unfortunately. So we talk about it as the EMF. Now, basically with that, the way you measure your EMF for any cell is you find the potential difference you use the voltmeter and you find the potential difference when there's no current flowing so when you find uh, the V um, when you have no current when you find the V when you have no current you basically find the EMF and the reason for that is that Within cells, generally, you have something called internal resistance. You've got a um, you've got a resistor within the cell. So you have something like this. So if I have my my cell, we would draw something like this. That you've got a little resistor here. We use the uh, the symbol small r. So we generally take that the the current goes from positive to negative so in the cell it's going in in this direction so your current is going like that now what actually happens is that as the current goes through that you get this I times this R the I R is equal to a potential difference of V and this is actually your uh, your PD your potential difference lost in the cell so that was why we, yesterday I did, we did that little investigation where you did you took the voltage when the light was not burning and you took the voltage when it was burning and you saw that it was a voltage drop. And that was due to this internal resistance because when there's no current flowing, then you get no IR. All right. So you measure that when you have got uh, no current. The formula for this is this. Your EMF is denoted by this funny E over here, EMF, and it's equal to I big R plus small r. So the small r over here is the resistance in the cell. This is the internal resistance in the battery in the cell. And the big R is the resistance in the circuit. Okay. So let's just let's just take an example, then we can see how this works. I'm just going to use a, an example. Let's just say we've got a we've got a um, something like this, and we've got a resistor, and let's say this is um, six ohm resistor, and um, I have got a switch like this. All right, I've got that situation over there. And um, actually, let me make this. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do it like that. So, when I take the voltage here, the V there with the switch open, all right, I'm going to call that, um, that is going to be my EMF. All right. And let's say when I take when it's open, let's say this equals 14 volts. Okay? Equals 14 volts. So my EMF is equal to 14 volts. I then close the switch. I then close my switch. So now there is a current flowing. Right now I have a current flowing in my in my circuit like that. And when I close the close the switch, this vol this 14 changes to 12 volts all right becomes 12 volts it's no longer 14 it drops all right it drops to uh it drops down to 12 volts now that 12 volts is actually measuring the potential difference from the end to the end so what's actually happened is that you've got a two volt drop potential difference drop due to the internal resistance of the cell so when it was open if you measured it Every coulomb of charge would have picked up 14 joules per coulomb. But now, actually, when you measure from the outside, it's only picking up 12 joules per coulomb. So what's actually happened there is that it's gone through, the coulomb of charge has gone through 
picked up 14 jewels, but on the way through the cell, loses two jewels. So it actually, in effect, only gets 12, 12 jewels per cooler. Okay. Now, we can measure, uh, we can work out the, the current, because this 12 volts is actually for the external circuit. If I put a voltmeter across here, if I measured the, the potential difference there, that would also read 12 volts because the energy lost in the circuit must be the energy gained by the cell. So we can work out the current that I is equal to V over R, okay, uh, is going to be 12 divided by 6 is going to equal 2 amps. So I've got a 2 amp um, I have got a 2 amp current flowing through my circuit. But that's also going through here. Now, what would be the re resistance in here? What would be the internal resistance? There, well, R is equal to V over I. The, the voltage drop there is 2. All right, that's for the internal resistance. The potential energy drop there is 2. So it's going to be 2 over 2 is going to equal 1 ohm. All right. So basically, I've got a 1 ohm resistor in there. So my overall formula, which is um, E is equal to I big R plus R, would be um, the 14, that's my EMF, is equal to the 2, 2 amps, times 6 plus 1. All right, there's my... 6 ohms there, there's my 1 ohm there, that's the internal resistance there, and that those two are equivalent, 14, 14 volts 